Now, new changes could be coming to a busy Vigo County intersection, but these newly proposed changes are not sitting well with many residents. News 10's Hannah Fullman takes us to tonight's public hearing on the removal of the North Clinton Street Bridge. The Indiana Department of Transportation is deciding whether or not to eliminate this bridge. This is the North Clinton Street Bridge just over US 41 northbound in Terre Haute. The hope is to increase sight lines and overall safety in this area. New changes for a busy intersection in Vigo County are being met with new problems. I don't see a way that this doesn't add to more accidents and more confusion. Crystal Giordano is just one of many residents who spoke up at Wednesday's public hearing. The hearing involved eliminating the North Clinton Street Bridge. This is because of recent signs of deterioration, cracks and other issues. But for people like Giordano, the problem wasn't removing the bridge itself what comes after. Right now, the plan is to develop a new at grade intersection at North Clinton Street and US 41 northbound and add roadway modifications between Bud Road and Quinn Avenue and Evans Avenue and Northwood Street. The Indiana Department of Transportation says this is the safest solution at this time. Well, safety, obviously a big concern. It's a big concern for us too, and that's a big reason that we are making the proposed changes, especially due to that bridge. There are, it's at the end of its life. So we don't want it to fail. We don't want anyone to get hurt. So we, the best option we think is to remove it entirely, bring that intersection to grade, and then put some of those reduced conflict intersections in there. While this is the proposed solution at the time being, some locals fear this could add more congestion, confusion, and the potential for more crashes. One county leader says there could be another way to go about this. We don't want to change the interchange. We just want the bridge reconstructed. One of the ideas was just to replace the bridge itself and build a new one. And with so many people speaking up at Wednesday's meeting, this could completely change the direction of the project. What we presented here tonight is not necessarily what's going to happen because the public, again, knows this area a lot better than we do. We definitely take those into consideration. They, your comments can change what we're doing. Now, no matter what the direction of the project goes, the hope is to get construction started by the spring of next year. Reporting in Vigo County, Hannah Fullman, News 10.